This is a blood plate with 5% sheep's blood. It is a differential media for streps. Different streps release hemolysins, which lyse blood cells. This process is called hemolysis. There are three kinds of hemolysis, alpha, beta, and gamma. Because we're looking for changes in the media and not changes in the growths, we want to pay a special attention to the areas around the growths. The cool way to do this is to flip the plate over and to examine the bottom of the plate. Here you can see the differences between the top and the bottom more clearly. The bottom is easier to read because you can't see the growth. Pay attention to the growth near my hand. See the difference? It's there. Now that you know how to pick out hemolysis visually, let's talk about alpha, beta, and gamma hemolysis. This arrow here is pointing to alpha hemolysis. Alpha hemolysis is sometimes called green hemolysis, which makes alpha hemolysis easy to remember because alpha hemolysis is green, like alfalfa. Alpha hemolysis, alfalfa hemolysis, alpha hemolysis. Beta hemolysis, shown here, is clear. All the blood cells have been lysed, so the media should be clear. Gamma hemolysis is actually a misnomer. There's no lysis happening at all, so the media should be unchanged. Make sure to look at the bottom, not the top, because the bacteria might have its own color, which might be confusing. Now you should be able to read a blood plate. This will help you to identify streps. I'm Will. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.